Yeah, you're right. We have a child who's going through recycle. <laughs> Look at him. I know, he's so good. Hold on. <laughs> you are not a lap dog, dude. Are you happy? <laughs> are you? <laughs> oh, old man dog. You are a mess. Y'all, our house. Look at this. Oh my gosh, hold on. We've started like, there's going to be a landfill trip this weekend. <laughs> this is what my brain looks like too. So like, if I just start this like, psychotic laughter, it's just because I'm going to, it's one of those things like, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And I've been doing a lot of crying, so... I'm just gonna shut the door tonight went to that room and just pretend like it doesn't look like that. But the good news is, I married into a family that has a moving company. So that's really nice because we got all this. We gotta move this stuff inside. So extra paper, boxes, and um, I think he's gonna help us move with his big moving truck, so. Pretty awesome. I need five minutes outside. I'm just gonna like, I've been drinking water all day. I need to like house plant for a second, just like be a house plant. And I need to just, this is our bike, our exercise bike that we're taking, but you, it's like we're in a weird place right now. So let me, let me explain this while I get a little bit of fresh air. So we're in this weird place because we have, you know, I, we don't know how long it's going to take from CO to closing because we did a construction loan, but we did a one time closing. So it's not necessarily like I keep saying it's a closing with the bank. It's really just like a transfer. I think is what they actually call it. We don't know how long that paperwork is going to take. Cause there is still, I was looking at the list today. It's like a substantial amount of stuff. Like we have to prove we've paid taxes. We have to prove we don't live in an area where we need to require like flood insurance is required. Um, like it's included in your insurance. You don't need like a separate kind of like flood insurance. We have to provide like a whole bunch of stuff. So there's this like awkward, you can't put anything in the home at all before the CO. So like I wanna go in and childproof everything. You can't do that before the CO. After the CO, I can go in and childproof. I can put all the little outlets in the wall, all that stuff. But like I can't put plates and like furniture and stuff until we do our like transfer of the loan into a permanent loan or whatever. So we can't look like we live there. <laughs> so we like can't put the bike in, even if it's in the garage, because it would look like we're going down there to work out. So this is a weird time in life and I have a six pound baby in my belly. Just out here venting. This is trash. Right? Yes, it's trash. Oh, I said I needed to house plant for a minute. I was like, I just need a house plant. I need, I need a little bit of, a little bit of sunshine. We have absolutely flown, I'm not gonna lie, I think I told y'all, Sam, like, so I married into a family that owns a moving company and Sam worked for them for so many years, like starting, I think he, how old were you when you started working there, nine or 11? Can't legally say South Carolina. <laughs> so nine or 11, somewhere in there. And he would just like pack and stuff, but he, he just, that was like summer job, all that kind of stuff, so he knows how to do this stuff and his uncle gave us like all of this moving stuff. So we got furniture out of here yesterday. <laughs> It's a disaster. I still am gonna pack up this room, but look at this. Y'all, this is two hours of work. I feel like this is so much stuff. It goes like all the way back. And this is all of the kitchen stuff that we will not use between now and then. And then all of like the laundry room stuff that we won't use between now and then. Um, it's so, like we kept out a crock pot, some casserole dishes, stuff like that. But like, you need multiple size casserole dishes, but you don't need them all right now. So then I've got stuff over here. So I still have to organize a lot of stuff, but 
very grateful to <laughs> have married into a family that has moving companies this um this time in my life but it is very hard i was doing so good and then i sat down and i lost all my steam so we're gonna go take some stuff to the dump. We, um, one of our friends came over and got some of the like cast iron dishes that we don't ever, or like cast iron pans and pots and stuff that we don't ever use. And my mom's gonna take some of the vases that we don't want. It's so, like, we've really done good today. And if you notice, it would be because the house is silent. <laughs> my mom got chunky. He, I love that little boy, but he has been a handful. Like trying to move with a 14 month old, almost 15 month old is a challenge. And so I asked her yesterday, I was like, can you just watch him for a couple hours? And she was like, absolutely. And she texted me, he's in this phase now where he like claps for everything you do. And she said, he claps for me every five minutes. She's like, I need this kind of encouragement in my life on a regular basis. So she's having fun with him, he's having fun with her, and we're able to get stuff done. So it's been a really good moving day. Like moving day one, which we're not actually moving. We're packing, I guess I should say packing day one. We, it is Saturday the 1st, so it's officially July 1st. I give birth next month, cool. Um, we should find out hopefully Monday morning if the guy is coming to do our inspection for our CO or if he's gonna, push it till Wednesday. I really hope he comes Monday because I have a dining table getting delivered on Wednesday. It's planning, it's gonna be in the garage no matter what. Like it's not gonna go in the house, it can't. But like it would just be real sketch, you know what I mean? <laughs> By the way, the um, now that I think about it, the dining room table delivery is between like 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. So even if the guy comes on Wednesday to do the inspection, the dining table won't just be like chilling in the middle of the- I mean, even if it is. I just don't wanna just, I don't wanna answer for things like that. It's my favorite coffee cup. Yeah. Smell like roses. Welcome, baby. Good morning. It is 8.11 and Chunky is still just snoozing away. I put some of this Loving Tan Deluxe, but it's the rose infused one on. So I like to have my self, gradual self tanner on like my entire, put my face down. And that actually smells like roses. It smells so good. Um, I will put my discount code for it in the description bar below. If um, I think it's still active, that's the first time I've used the rose infused, but I've used the deluxe gradual self tan a lot because of things like this. I can get up, and then by the time I'm like usually starting my makeup, like I can already tell that I'm dry, and I can go about my day, wear whatever I want, and it just does nothing but get darker. So it's like I've really been loving that self tan lately. Um, so oh, he's awake, him set up, he's very quiet though. Let me tell y'all real quick, I'll put the clip in here. We got our CO yesterday. It was the best thing ever. Um, real quick, I, he's awake, baby. Um, I saw on the ring camera, the inspector. I like saw him when I got in the shower. And then when I got out of the shower, he was still there and I could like see him walking around. And I saw him write something on one of the notes that we had put on the garage. We had to put up a note that basically said like, the garage is shut, but the front door is unlocked because we had to keep the garage shut since we needed the attic access down for him. Birds had been flying up there and we don't want any more baby birds. We already had our stint with baby birds and had to leave it down until they hatched. It, came, it was a whole big thing. So um, we had a note and he just wrote something on the note. And so I immediately was like, there's no way I'm waiting to see what that note says. So I got in my car and I rushed down to the house and the footage that you're gonna see is so chaotic but me finding out that we got the co it's he wrote final pass on there and then of course he like told our builder you know got all the official paperwork and stuff but like you're gonna see me read that and fake I, like i was the first person to find out that we passed our co before anyone else um and then i call sam so it was it was really sweet literally zooming down to our house right now like zooming i'm going way too fast i'm already kind of in like our driveway co I literally just watched him leave. He wrote something and then he left. All right, let's see. We 
We passed. <laughs> we passed. <laughs> oh my god, we passed. We passed. So I'm actually, I think I'm gonna film my like full um, makeup routine real quick for Insta stories. So I'll share my morning skincare routine with y'all. It's very simple. I've shared it like a million times before. But it's so good. So today the goal is to clean out my closet for biotic gel cream from Dime. This is the only moisturizer that I use every day in the morning. It is the literal best. So good, especially if you have redness. It really helps with red skin. Um, I've got a little munchkin here now grabbing at products, but I use that first and I'm not gonna go in with anything on my neck. Usually I would, or my the back of my hands, usually I would, but got gradual self tanner on today god that self tanner smells so good and then i use the dime wonder screen spf 30 mariah r20 works for both dime products so closet clean out is happening today because there's a lot of stuff in there i've avoided um it's kind of hard i don't get rid of like because i fit back into my pre-pregnancy clothes i was about six months postpartum six seven months postpartum when i fit back into my pre-pregnancy stuff with ezra and of course got pregnant five minutes later um but i'm not gonna get rid of it because i do know i can fit back into it but i have a lot of stuff that like i just it's not my style anymore or i don't wear it as much as i thought i would and i don't want to take it to the new house even though we have more storage there i just want to just clean out all that stuff and then shoes all my shoes have to go like all of them but like all the shoes that i don't wear they really have to go the goal is today for packing and then I think apart from that, the only other thing is to get Ezra's room kind of purged. I really need to purge out his room. A lot of decor that you put in a baby's room, like little decor pieces, not like artwork and stuff, but decor pieces you put in a newborn's room. Yeah, it's like not toddler friendly. They try to stick everything in their mouth or in the toilet. So it's just, it's a lot of that needs to, needs to go. We're still doing the same theme in the new house, the like moon and stars, but his blue in that room is a lot darker. Y'all have seen it. It's like a little, it's a little more gray. And then the new baby has like a dark moody green. So we're, we're just sort of young looking like clouds and some of, some of the stuff in there just needs to go. All right, so Mr. No Afternoon Nap. It's gonna be a fun day. Um, is stage five clinger and helping me by unpacking everything. <laughs> so I decided to do a huge uh, clean out. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, literally attached at the hip, kiddo. Um, so we are boxing up everything and I decided to clean out my shoes and I have so much specifically these two sections to go through. This is like newer stuff right here, but I need to clean all that stuff out because I have been avoiding a closet clean out for far too long now. Um, it needs to be done and I have told y'all like I keep everything that I keep I love, but a lot of it I just haven't worn as much as I thought I was going to. So it's gotta go. This battery's dying, but we are we are moving and it's just it's very hard to do in general with him but especially to vlog wow having him here So weird. It's just weird. But got it didn't even take that long. It would have been quicker if Ezra wasn't awake, but next we have to tackle all this. We're still packing. We are still moving forward in hopes. Cross our fingers, if y'all just say your prayers for us, that because we only have to go through a modification process we can close either this coming week and move next weekend or the week after. Regardless, I'm gonna be at least 36 weeks pregnant, um, if not 37. And it's just starting to get a little bit stressful. So I'm trying not to think about it, but wanted to catch y'all up on where we are at. Um, 
we're gonna finish packing up the shoes here I already have things set aside for donation and then I've got to put these shoes in for trash clean up some Amazon orders and then we're calling it not only a wrap on this vlog we're calling it a night and I'm going to get a bed <laughs>